how to make a fill in multiple blanks in Blackboard type question in a test. Click on create question and then fill in multiple blanks. An example of a multiple blanks is this statement where the correct answer would be the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain and they have to decide what three words should fit in there. And I'm putting variables, as they talk about up here, different letters for uh, every different word in square brackets. And then there's a next button where I would put in the answers. Now something I should show you back here is that you can make allow partial credit. So if they get one or more of the words right, then at least they'll get part of the mark. I'm going to allow that. So when I go in the answers, I put in the correct answer, rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane. And the default is exact match. Notice that they already have made three slots because they knew to make three slots with those letters because I made them as square bracket letters. I can choose to be case sensitive if they should start with, this, with a capital R because it's the beginning of the sentence or a capital S because it's a country proper noun. So the um, that, that's one option. I also don't have to do exact match. I could do contains. And that would be if if the the first part of the word, if, the, if there's letters at the end of the word that they don't know how to spell, if I just have the first part of the word correct, then alternate spellings at the end of the word could be uh, still considered correct. If I want more than one answer, more than one correct answer, I would just create a second answer for that one type. I'm going to remove it because I actually don't want to in this case. Another option is pattern matching. And pattern matching allows me to have a bunch of different variations that I could that I could use that would accept the right answers. And here is a quick guide that I'll put in comments about the different kinds of rules for pattern matching. You could either put a dot uh, in for it, allow any character to be different or a, a bunch of quick characters like for instance here all the letters that have B and A at the end with the different vowels in the middle A E I O U can be uh, will all considered correct. If it was just a dot, then any letter, like a 9, could be considered a correct. You can put a range, any letter from A to Z could be it. Or you could have it with a, a capital letter, so it has to be uppercase. Or that there could be these two numbers or a range of numbers. So that's how to use the uh, pattern matching. I'm just going to go with exact match. That fits for this case. And then go next and then I can have a response feedback I'm not going to and then to show you what it looks like for a student I'm going to go into the tests and I'm going to make this temporarily available as a preview user and I'll click on preview user I'm going to start the test and So I didn't put a capital letter on S, and I guess the rain isn't at the beginning of the sentence, so it should be lowercase anyway, so it, but it won't matter because it's not case sensitive. And then save and submit, and then go OK. Now, when a student sees their results, they could go to Tools Migrates to see the results, or if I've already made it available, they could just go OK to see the results. They can see what they said for the answers and what the correct answers were.